I'll begin by um, noticing the way you sit. Your back is upright, spine is straight, shoulders are relaxed. <coughs> And your neck is aligned with your back, which means the chin is slightly tucked in. Slightly tucked in. Good. So um, you can bring your hands together with um, one hand over the over the other, resting. The thumb can touch. Um, can, the, the, the thumb can touch or not. So this is one style, but really in our tradition, in our tradition, we're not so specific. But like in the Zen tradition, when you have to have a, a particular posture, which is actually very useful, <laughs> but um, you can also really in our meditation, you can relax the hands too and the, the arms. And as I said, the chin is slightly tucked in, so that you can feel the lengthening of your back as you tuck not too much in, something like this. A little bit tucked in, and the eyes are either closed or so sort of cast down. So for the next few minutes, you just bring attention to the body, the sensation of the body. You can come and um, begin to bring attention to the body, and notice the sensation in the body. How are you feeling? How are you? You know, how are you, what is happening right now in you? Close your eyes gently and ask yourself, how am I, how am I feeling right now? What am I thinking? What am I, how does the body feel? Letting the attention settle in the present moment. Letting your energy quiet down and the body calming down. As you do this, you're also aware of the sounds outside this room, inside this room. You're conscious of the body sitting, your back upright, the part, the body touching the ground, touching the cushion, the, the contact of the body with the cushion. You can even feel the, the touch, the contact of your clothes against the body. And from the top of your head down to your feet, just slowly and gently, in a relaxed manner, you sweep the body with attention, with mindfulness. Noticing any tingling, any tension, any vibrations, any feeling of pain or sensation of pleasure or pain, hot and cold, heavy and light. Just beginning to 
make the body conscious, make the experience of your body a conscious experience, which helps the attention to really um, get rooted in the present moment. Naturally, thoughts will arise, memory from the day, the day's activities, things which you've done, things which you haven't done will come up into consciousness. But you continue to sweep the body gently, slowly, and without any rush, without any, any sense of hurry or pressure, taking time, and just imagine that you would have eternity in front of you to do that. There's no time limit, so that the attention is really grounded in the moment. Feeling the heat, the sense of heat and cold, light and heavy, tinglings, vibrations, pain, pleasure, pleasurable sensation, painful sensations. And feel really your, as you breathe in and you breathe out gently and in a relaxed manner, naturally. And you also feel the mind settling down, calming down, resting in the present moment, establishing the stillness, which which does not mean that there's no thoughts, There may be thoughts, but there is a still space in which they arise and pass away. And the mind is not moving with them. Now, when you meditate, it's very important to approach this um, experience of sitting with a very kind attitude. We don't often have the opportunity or the encouragement to be really kind to ourselves in this world. So to really approach the moment, each moment, with a sense of friendliness and loving kindness towards the body, towards the the breath, the sensations of the body. So that create a a kind of non-resistance, a relationship where there's no resistance to what is happening so that the stress level can decrease, the tension can evaporate, and the sense of being weighed down by life can diminish too. Non-resistance to the way things are from moment to moment.
Notice when the sensation come and go and there is no real forcing things to be differently. There is an immediate response of the mind and the body, a response of relaxation response. It may take, it may take a, a while to be aware of this, but as you continue sweeping the body, notice how this quality of attention affects you from your own direct experience. Notice the effect and the effect of the faculty of mindfulness, awareness of the present moment. Feeling, sensing, noticing the way it is right now in this moment. Feeling the breath as you breathe in and out. Feeling the breath and the space around your breath. The spaciousness that is around your body and around your breathing. So there's a body sitting and there's a space in which your body is sitting. And you feel the connection between the two. You're not just an isolated object. You have this relationship to space around you. And as you breathe, there's also spaciousness as you breathe in and out, noticing especially the out breath, which is habitually shortened through tension and through a lack of So a kind of stressful rhythm that our life inflict on us. So whilst you're sitting, pay attention to the, the ending of your out breath and you will see how the breath, rhythm of the breath is really um, is affected in a very positive way. And you feel the ending of your out breath and how you Notice the moment when you want to speed up and breathe in again more, you know, quicker than the natural rhythm of your breath. The natural rhythm of the breath is a full out breath, which is not forced, not willed, but is a natural rhythm of the body when it's not impeded by our minds tendency to hurry things, to speed up. So now there's time to breathe. Time to breathe out. With loving kindness, gentleness, Whatever thought arise, whatever memory arise, whatever experience arises from moment to moment, you can just let them come and let them go within the space in which your body is sitting and the thoughts are arising. You just let them come, let them go, but the stillness is always present. The still point of awareness, that sense of presence, deep presence, observing, looking, sensing, feeling the experience of each moment. And the out breath is a way of letting go of everything that you carry around 
You let it all, you let everything go with the out breath. Feeling you're unburdening yourself from moment to moment of the weight you carry around habitually. The burden of life. The posture itself is a helpful means to keep the mind alert and vibrant. Awake. Attentive. So we can sustain awareness from moment to moment without losing track of the quality of mindfulness that keeps observing and noticing the momentary experience in the present. The attention, the attention itself does not pick or choose. It does not reject or grasp. The attention itself is like a completely non-judgmental experience. A space in which anything can come and go and not be judged. Pushed away or held held back. Quality of awareness is a fairly neutral quality. It allows the mind to flow according to its nature. Ajahn Shah used to speak of the mind as like a river. The flow flowing river. And the more a a river is free to flow, the the more it follows its natural course. When it's dammed, you notice that the the rhythm or the flow of the river is diminished. Its life force is diminished. And this is what we do in ourselves. We keep damming our mind so that the life energy doesn't really flow according to its natural strength. 